Hey, it's Brandon with the Grass Group at Remax Kelowna, and today I wanted to talk to you briefly about selling your home in the winter. A lot of people under the misconception of waiting until spring because, you know, that's what everybody else is doing and, you know, we don't really want to move in winter. We're not so sure. And the reason I did this video towards the kind of the tail end of winter as it's snowing out, I mean, I, I jinxed it, I think, but... Um, a lot of people wait till spring because they think that that's, you know, the only opportunity for them to sell their home. So currently in our market, we're about 55, almost 60% down in our normal uh, supply of inventory. So currently, if you were to list your home, you know, let's just say in the next week, you would be fighting almost 60% less com competition than you normally would waiting until a normal market, a normal spring market. And I don't know if, you know, this spring is going to be different because of COVID. It might be. But if it's not, we're going to see a flurry of new listings hit the market. And yes, there is buyer demand for those premium homes and they're actively out there searching. But the ones that, you know, are just meh, okay are going to have a harder time selling as opposed to now everything is in high demand. I mean, if you've got a bit of a fixer upper, if you've got some carpet that needs replacing, you got some painting that needs to be done, get it on the market. Like don't even do it, just get it listed and get it out on the market because you're prolonging the inevitable. And in this market, buyers are not picky. They can't be, there's just no competition. So winter brings out the serious buyers. I mean, let's face it, who is gonna leave their house, put on their toque, gloves, winter jacket, scarf, brave the wilderness and the wild elements of snow and everything that Kelowna winters have to offer to go and just look at a house? It's not gonna happen. Um, so we find that you know your property, if you're listed, uh, especially, this is a, a golden nugget here, especially if you've got young kids living with you, uh, uh, showings are a nightmare. Cleaning the house that you just cleaned, it's like you've cleaned something and then a bomb goes off, the kids play, and it's like you re-clean everything over again. So if you're interested in getting less showings, um, winter's a great time because what we see is you're not going to get a lot of activity uh, in a normal market, you wouldn't get a lot of activity. But, however, in this market, you would basically get to stack your showings. So, for example, uh, you would list your home on, say, a Thursday or Friday. Let, you know, 20, 30 people through however much demand you have for your property. And let them all come through one or two days. So, to have it clean for those two days, no big deal. And then you're going to look at offers on Monday or Tuesday with your professional listing agent. So, it's really that easy. Um, we're seeing more and more in our market uh, with homes being, you know, stacked offers, everybody going through and then presenting offers at the end. So if you're looking to kind of minimize your showing time and your time on market, now's a great time to sell. Next up is just a, um, you know, a courtesy. Um, I, I see a lot of sellers and I know they've got a lot of things on the go, but it's always so nice when that seller's made the effort to not only shovel, you know, the, the front walkway so it's safe and the driveway, of course, because you don't want to be slipping and falling, but the back walkways down the side of the house, the stairs down the side of the house, and really to shovel it out just so the buyer's uh, can experience the home and everything it has to offer. I mean, you know, there was, um, I remember, I think my first year in real estate, 2016, we got a huge snowstorm. I sold a home, I think it was mid-February, and my clients moved in, and they're like, oh my gosh, we didn't even know this huge brick uh, paving stone uh, walkway and patio like area for, for like a, a, a summertime patio where you could set up tables and chairs. Like it was pretty big, it was about 12 feet wide. Um, was even there. It was underneath the snow when we saw it and spring came and their closing happened and they found out. So it was a nice bonus for them. But, you know, as a seller, you want to highlight all your best features and benefits. So if the buyers can't see it, well, chances are it's not going to be there. So, you know, that includes pool decks around the pool. Obviously, you can tell there's a pool there, but just all of the areas around, if you've got an exposed deck, if you've got, you know, new vinyl composite decking, or if you've got a wood deck to make sure that's all shoveled off and clear just so the buyers can, you know, visualize their furniture on the deck and what, what, what's, wh how their furniture is going to fit in, in the space is, is super important.
Okay, next up is make your cozier space even cozy. So if you got a, you know, gas fireplace, if you've got a real wood burning fireplace, you know, obviously I'm not suggesting for you to light a fire and then leave. No, that is not a good thing to do. Um, but you can get those earth stone logs that are burned. They're, they're ever, not evergreen, that's the wrong word, but they're like environmentally friendly. Thank you. Um, and they stay there and they'll just kind of have that ambience where without giving off a ton of heat and contrary to what, you know, other people think and what you've been told, um, I know for me, there's nothing more chilling than a buyer walking into a property that I'm going to show where it's vacant, it's unlived in, or the sellers have been gone all weekend and the house is freezing cold. Like you're just, it's not a very warm, homey feeling. So uh, I always recommend to my sellers to leave the temperature around that 20, 21 degrees and to take into account on the other side of that where it's too cold, it's too hot. If you've got a gas fireplace and you've left for four hours with the thing on blast, sometimes you get in there and you're like, oh, I'm just ready to die. It feels like you've hit the desert. So you want to make sure that temperature is, is in that range. Um, so what I always like to do is I always like to have the fireplace down super low, as low as you can, just so you can see it's on there and get you get that ambience. And then uh, to make sure the heat is at a comfortable temperature. So it's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. Um, and, you know, maybe you want to stage a little area. You know, if you're not a throw blanket person, maybe you get a couple stuffed pillows and you put the pillows there and a, a nice a blanket over top. And, you know, just so the buyer can visualize how cozy the home is. Um, we always find it, 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 you know, feels cozier when there's not a big draft or, or anything like that. So going into that point is to check all your windows, your door trim. Um, you wouldn't believe for a couple hundred dollars what you can do for your home and your energy bill by going down to the local Home Depot or Rona, wherever you shop, and just getting a weather stripping package. I mean, they literally pull out, you can watch a YouTube video on it, they literally pull out and they push back in. Like, they're so easy. And what happens is they get brittle, they get old, and they, they start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So instead of them being puffed up and full, when the door shuts, the door's here, it doesn't hit the, the weather stripping. So you can put new weather stripping in, you can get extra thick weather stripping if your door's settled. There's lots of variations. So um, that's another great thing is just, you know, nothing worse than a draft, especially if the house is, you know, trying to be cozy and you know, the buyers are walking in and they go, Ooh, where's, you know, is there a door open? Is there a window open? Nothing's worse than that. So you want to make sure you have no drafts. Um, so definitely ha have a look at that. If you're thinking about beating the rush come spring and getting things going now, contact me. I'm, I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you about a strategy and kind of what's, you know, what you can expect in terms of how many days on market it's going to take to your sell approximately, how many you know, other listings are going to be your competition currently, what you're looking like to, you know, if you're, if you're going to sell, what you're going to be buying and what that looks like and, you know, what options are out there. Uh, it's always great to have a lot of that information before. Um, and I think, you know, given this market, especially this year with COVID, uh, that now is a great opportunistic time to sell as a seller. So I hope this helps. And if you got any more questions or want any more information around this, Feel free to reach out, call me, contact me below. All my contact information is in every description of every video that I have. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for the future Kelowna real estate updates and Kelowna market information.